hello friends welcome to my new channel electric educator so here we will be dealing with the few electrical engineering subjects in case if you are not able to concentrate properly or you have missed lot of classes then this channel is going to help you a lot so see the link of the channel it's electrical educator please do not forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you can instantly get the videos as and when it is released so here in this particular session we will be having a brief discussion about the subject electric motors so we all know that anything which is associated with the motion the moment is called as a motor and to a mechanical moment then we call it as a electric motor so basically electric motor is a device which converts electrical energy into mechanical energy so the objectives of this particular course is to study the construction features of motors and select a suitable drive for specific application so we know that we have two different types of supplies ac and dc and also depending on the availability of these supplies the type of motor is being used now for what particular application which type of motor is to be used that we can study from this course to study the constructional features of three phase and single phase induction motors so the 90% of the motors used in the industries nowadays are three phase induction motors so it is necessary for us to understand what is the constructional features of this these motors so that if we are interested in machine design we can remodify the existing designs and develop a more efficient motor so to study different test to be conducted for the assessment of the performance characteristic of motors so basically we know that none of the devices are 100% efficient because there is always losses associated in electrical machines so various tests have been conducted in order to identify what are the losses in the machine and what is at different loads so to study the speed control of motor by different methods so there will be different application which requires a variable speed processing so in such cases we need to have a suitable setup to control the speed of any type of motor so various motors have different types of speed control techniques that we shall be studying so explain the construction and operation of synchronous motor and special motors so synchronous motor are the motors which are basically used for constant speed applications and we shall be dealing with it for some time and other than that there are certain special motors which are called as a brushless motors stepper motors servo motors linear induction motors which are the recent trends for different applications so we will be having a little discussion on those motors also so after studying this course a student will be able to explain the construction operation and classification of dc motor ac motor and special purpose motors describe the performance characteristics and application of electric motors demonstrate and explain the methods of testing of dc machines and determine losses and its efficiency control the speed of dc motor and induction motor in the starting methods equivalent circuit phasor diagram torque angle effect of change in excitation and change in load hunting and damping of synchronous motors so for this particular subject i'll be referring the following textbooks first one is electric machines by professor dp kothari and ij nagrath uh, it is published by magro hill publications and uh, we are looking for the fourth edition so the link for this 
text motives is a major book for electrical machines some of the topics might be complicated for for easier approach we'll have different textbook so the second book which i will be referring is theory of alternating current machines by professor alexander langstoff this is also published by tata mcgraw but uh, i currently don't recommend this book to the students who are learning this course for the first time so this is basically for the people who have mastered the subject and really learning it so for the time being who are learning this course for the first time i don't recommend this textbook the third book is a simpler english book which is easier to understand so it is electrical machines by professor ashfaq hosain published by dhanpat rai and co second edition is 2013 so the link for this book also will be put up in the description so these are the things which we will be dealing in our upcoming classes so until then don't forget to subscribe the channel and hit the bell icon thank you